Well guys, today is going to be something a little bit different. In front of me you can see a 750 plus card eBay lot. I got this off of eBay obviously and the, the uh, listing said 750 plus. It said that 98% of the cards are in mint condition so we'll see if that is accurate. They also said that all of these cards come from Sinnoh or earlier which is generation 4. Which I'm actually pretty excited about because finding stuff that's older can be a little bit difficult at times. Now for this entire lot I paid $30 plus a bit of shipping but 30 bucks for this auction is pretty sick. So I'm hoping we actually got something good here. We might just have a bunch of junk, who knows? That's gonna be the exciting thing. We're gonna dig through this, see if there's anything good, see if there's just a bunch of junk. So the way I'm gonna do this, guys, is I'm gonna do one stack per day. So we're gonna do six videos here. It just came in this container here with all these stacks, so I figure that's a good way to do it. Because in total, this amount of cards is approximately equal to two booster boxes, so it's a lot of cards. So I guess we'll just pick a stack and start looking through it. And I guess I'll just start with this one on the side here. The, the uh, listing also mentioned, oh, okay, there you go. It mentioned Yu-Gi-Oh cards, but I did I wasn't seeing any Yu-Gi-Oh cards, but I guess there's these two Yu-Gi-Oh cards right here. So we have Alien Infiltrator and Dweller in the Depths. Those might be the only Yu-Gi-Oh cards in this entire set. I'm not sure, but we're going to open that first stack over here. I just pulled out and I guess we'll just break it down into little, little mini stacks and we'll try to keep track of how many rare cards we get. So let's pull off a little bit at a time. Keep it kind of similar to like a booster pack type thing. So it looks like first off we have a Chimchar from Diamond and Pearl, of course. Oh, another one. So there's, yeah, there's probably going to be a lot of duplicates in this set, but that's all right. Now one second, guys. All right, just tweak some camera settings. Let me know if you guys like the look of it before or after that edit, and we'll see if I can change things later on. So here we have a Combi. I think it's also from Diamond and Pearl. Again, got a few copies of him. We also have a Cascoon. So I'm trying to look at the little icon down here, and. That's where I'm getting what set it's from. I think that's the Diamond and Pearl base set icon, so that's what I'm assuming that is. So a lot of Diamond and Pearl right there. No rares quite yet. We have another Chimchar. Ooh, there's actually a Hollow Chimchar. That is a promo. So I guess we'll, we're going to consider that one a rare, guys. I probably should have pulled out some orange sleeves. I'll try to get that for the next video, but I'll set that one aside. We'll consider that a rare. I'll consider anything that's shiny or has a rare symbol to be a rare card. So we got some Ekans here. This Ekans is actually a fire type. I guess it's because it's from Delta Species, it says right there, so Fire-type Ekans, we have a Slugma, we have a Numel, another Numel, different kind of them. Wow, another Numel, is that the one from before? I don't know. We also have a Monferno, two Monferno, three Monferno, there's a, ooh, that's a base set Growlithe, that is just a uncommon, but really cool to see a base set card in here. And another Growlithe, so it looks like they actually organize this by Pokemon a little bit. And here we have a Charmander. This one is an, ele an electric type, also from the Delta Species. Let me see if I can get a zoom in there. So you can see it says Delta Species. So I'm guessing that that set has a bunch of random types on Pokemon. Let's grab, grab a little, another little stack. That's a pretty big stack I just grabbed. Ooh, there's our first, well not our first Hollow, because we had that promo over there, but that's a Hollow right there, a Hollow Bastiodon. I don't know what set that's from. There's the icon. I don't really know how to identify that, but if you guys know what set that's from, let me know. So I'll set that aside. We also have a Magby. We have, ooh, a shield on reverse hollow. Nice. I guess I'll I'll keep the hollows. Wow, another hollow. We'll keep the hollows and the reverse hollows separate. So there's another hollow. That's a promo right there. A shield on. Awesome. We have a Charmander, an Exeggutor from the jungle set. That's an uncommon. We have a Wormpool. Wormpool. Swalot. That's just an uncommon. Uh, Silcoon. Silcoon. So that that's kind of the exciting thing about eBay lots is we're going to have a whole bunch of different sets here, guys. It's not going to all be from one set. This could be from anything from base set all the way up to diamond and pearl. So that's pretty exciting. So we got coughing. We got, got a grottle here. Another one of these combi. I guess they're not all organized together. We have C dot, C dot, and another type of C dot. Ooh, a beautiful light reverse hollow. And that is a rare. That's awesome. Look at that one. And wow, okay, behind it is another rare. So we have two beautifies, a reverse holo and a non-reverse holo. That's awesome. So I guess I'll put those both in the rare pile. Actually, we'll do reverse holo pile. We'll do a rare pile. So now over here, I've got three piles. We got hollows, we got reverse hollows, we have rares. And then I'll make a, I guess those are Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Then I'll make a uh, EX pile if there happens to be in any EXs in here. But we'll see. Let's go grab another stack. So next up we have... Charmander, Torchic, another Torchic, Hypnotic Gaze. Look how cute that one is. That's nice. Another Torchic. So many different types of Torchics. Wow. 
And another one. Look at all these Torchics, man. Oh, and a Ralts. Look at that art. Wow. That is a beautiful art right there. Actually, I kind of want to see what Illustrator that is. Illustrated by... Where is it? Illustri where's the Illustrator? Oh, there it is. Illustrated by Hajime Kusajima. I probably butchered that name. But that's a beautiful art. I'll have to look up more cards from them. There we have a Fire-type Ralts from the Delta Species. Oh, another one. We have a Sableye. We have Magmar. I, if, I, if I happen to miss any rares, by the way, guys, let me know. Oh, yeah, I did miss a rare, actually. That Sableye was a rare, so boom, rare. So I might accidentally miss a couple because I can't see the icons that well. But we have Charmeleon. Pachirisu, that's another rare. Heck, yeah, it is. Boom. So there's actually quite a few rares in this set already, so this might be a really good lot. We have a Baneri. We have a Piplup. Oh, a Tropius, just an uncommon on that one. So wow, already got a decent amount of rares and uh, hollows. I'll have to, I'll sift through this at the end. I'll just, like shuffle through it to see if I missed any rares. So if I missed any, I'll I'll get it updated by the end. So we'll be fine. Okay, we have ooh a fossil magmar. That's a uh, magmar. That's a uh, magmar. One of the first sets. I think the third set of Pokemon cards. We have Torchic. Ooh, we have another Sableye rare. This one is totally different. A really cool looking one right there. So that's awesome. I'm gonna put that in the rare pile. We have a Ponyta. Ooh, Legendary Collection. You can see that icon right there. This card's normally from the Jungle set, but this is a reprint, the Legendary Collection. So very cool. We have a Bulbasaur. Another Bulbasaur. Another Bulbasaur. Oh, another one of these Combi. There's been a lot of these Combis. Wow. Wow! Okay, we have a Fire-type Mankey. Uh, two of those, actually. Make it three. We have three of these, guys. So, three Fire-type Mankeys. Low Kick is a fire move, apparently. So there you go. So we're probably a little bit more than halfway, maybe just about halfway through the stack, so... Oh, wow! Okay, making some good progress, and suddenly, a rare reverse hollow Typhlosion. Holy crud, I think this lot might be a jackpot, guys. So now we've got... You know, I probably should put the, the piles like... Let's move this. You guys won't be able to see them that well, but... Eh, I'm going to put the piles right here, so at least they're in frame, even though you guys won't be able to see them that well. Because they're out of focus, but they're still in frame, so that looks a little bit better to me. But here we have Sand Slash. We have Wismer. Wow, a reverse hollow Magmar. A little bit scratched up, but honestly, like he was saying, a lot of the most of these cards are in really good condition. I gotta agree. So we have Spoink. We have a Grumpig. Is that a rare? It is, guys. So we do have a rare Grumpig right there. So many rares and stuff already. That's already five rares, all those reverse hollows. And wow! Another rare, that's a Hitmon top. Holy crud. Is Hitmon Chan a rare as well? He is! Oh my goodness, look at all these rare cards. Uh, Glalie's just an uncommon though, so we broke our streak. Oh, suddenly another rare. We have a Walrian. If you guys know what set these are from, let me know, because I don't recognize a lot of these icons. I'm sure I could look it up though, but for the time being, I, I don't know. Wow! Uh, cannot even, I was about to say reverse all. We just have a regular holographic Torterra from Diamond and Pearl. That is awesome. Awesome. What? Oh my gosh, dude. This lot is ridiculous. Okay, we have a Venusaur Rare and a Sceptile Hollow. Holy crud. And I think that's from... Oh, I recognize that icon. I forget what exactly it's called. Let's see if I get focused on that. There we go. I forget what that's called. It's like P.O.P. or something. So P.O.P. 1. That's like a side series set, but really cool. Holographic Sceptile. Gosh dang. I was not expecting this lot to be anything good considering I paid 30 bucks for it. And this is only, we're not even through one of the six stacks I'm going through. Gosh dang. Of course it is possible that this will be the only good stack and the other ones will suck. But maybe those other ones could be even better. So we had a Larvitar. We have a Spinarak. Barboach. We got Wingle. Base Z2. Kadabra. Spoink. I've seen quite a few of these Spoinks. Yeah, there's another one. Oh, look at that Spoink. That's actually a really nice art on that one. Another one of these spoinks. We got a Bulbasaur. We have a Piplup. A Prom. I think that's from Neo. Oh, jeez. Neo. The, the, Neo. I don't know. One of the Neo sets. It's not Discovery. It's not Destiny. It's not Genesis. I think that's Neo Revelations. Uh, we have Bayleaf. We have a Steel Magnemite. Another one of these. Another one. Another one. Okay, four of them. Is there another one back here? Nope. There was something else. We have a Riolu. 
A Magneton, nice. I'm guessing that's from the same set. Here we have a Curlia. Wow, we have a Reverse Hollow Sneasel. Looks like it has a little bit of a scratch right here. But that's looking pretty cool, dude. Okay, put that in the Reverse Hollow pile. Man, this is this is getting too too crazy. I gotta move some stuff over already. I was not expecting this in the first the first stack. This is ridiculous. We have a Dusclops, Haunter, Crow Gunk, Riolu, Machop. I'm not a huge fan of Machop. I mean, he's all right, but that is a nice art right there. That's beautiful. Look at this. It's really nice. Another one. We have a Seal, Magikarp. Ooh, there's a Murkrow. Murica Crow. We have Totodile. We have Shinx. Uh, Buizel. Slackoth. Chikorita. Zubat. And, of course, that Magikarp that was at the back. So, nothing super standout-ish about that little handful, but we still got more to go here. So we have an Apom. Wow, a Psychic-type Reverse Hollow Nidorina. Awesome. I'm guessing it's psychic because it's technically a poison type in the game. So that's going in the reverse holo pile. Wow, another one, dude! Are we just going to go on a streak right here? So we have a Croconaw. This looks like it's damaged, but it's not. It's just a, a line of water in the art. Looks really cool. So there's a Croconaw reverse holo. And we have a Dodrio. Okay, so that's not a rare or anything, but still really cool looking Dodrio. Got a couple of them. Maybe a few of them. We have a Why Not? Look at that. Looks like he's made out of clay or something. Another one of these Magnetons. We have a Poochiena, a Dugong, and a Vulpix. Wait, that's it. Yep, that's it for that. This is the last little bit of this entire stack, guys, so pretty gosh dang amazing already, but this is only one out of six stacks, so definitely check back tomorrow. We'll go through the other stack, but let's see what else is in here. So we have Electrike, a Water-type Oddish. That's bizarre. You got Blot. Remove two damage counters from Oddish. Hmm, okay. Surskit, Mime Jr., oh, there's a Why Not, and also a Bonsley Reverse Hollow. Wow, we're getting so many of these Reverse Hollows, which is awesome, because I definitely want to collect all these, and I'm noticing it's kind of faded out right here. I think there might be some sun damage or something, but that's a little bit faded out, the energy icon right there, but still really cool. We have a Smoochum, we have Badoo, we have Pichu. Oh, actually, that's another one of those, like, clay toy-looking things. It looks like it's an actual picture. We have a Psychic-type Trico. Okay. We have Shinx. One second, guys. Okay, we have Vulpix. We have Slackoth. And we have Turtwig. And the last card of the day is a Shieldon. So that was not uh, anything too good in that last stack. But, guys, that was... Wow. I'm actually really excited for this lot. It's the very first stack... Gives us all of that. Let's take a little recap here. Here's our rare cards. So we have Venusaur. We have Walrian. Hitmonchan. There's a gosh dang hair right there. Go away, hair. Gross. Get off of... <sighs> what the heck? Okay. We have Hitmonchan. We have Hitmontop. Grumpig. Sableye. Pachirisu. Sableye again. And Beautifly. That's just the rares. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine rares already. We have five hollows, which is a Sceptile, Torterra, Shieldon, Bastiodon, and Chimchar. And then we have eight reverse hollows, which are Bonsley, gosh dang thing, stop recording. We got Bonsley, Croconaw, Nidorina, Sneasel, Magmar, Typhlosion, Beautifly, and Shieldon. So an amazing start to this lot. I'll see you guys tomorrow, and we'll take a look at another stack. Take care!